And the Caldor fire south of Lake Tahoe is now the latest of a swarm of fires devastating much of Northern California. And as ABC 10 News reporter Steve Smith tells us, hundreds have lost their homes, including family with ties to San Diego. The Caldor fire, which started on August 14th just south of Lake Tahoe, has now burned close to 200,000 acres. And right away, Brent and Tiffany DeVos, who live in the small town of Grizzly Flats, knew it was time to evacuate. They said it was going to be about a 37 percent chance, so I went ahead and added 20 to that and got the family out. Brent says he could tell by how fast the flames were moving and jumping that firefighters are going to have a tough time saving homes and structures. All he and his family could do was hold out hope. I was really hoping that there was going to be a good chance that the house was still going to be there. Um, but you could see the flames coming and everything. The Caldor fire has now damaged or destroyed over 400 structures, which unfortunately did include the DeVos home. Tiffany says once they found out their house was gone, it relieved a lot of stress, but at the same time, it added more. Our four-year-old's having separation anxiety because of it. And, you know, she doesn't really understand why or how she lost her home and all of her belongings yeah. and why we're living in a yeah. small trailer. There's no words to really express how you feel. You just want to go home, and you can't. The DeVoses say they are blessed by the support they are receiving from friends and family, including Tiffany's sister, Shannon, who lives here in San Diego. And while Shannon can't be with her sister, she has started a GoFundMe page. I just wanted to do something, you know, financially, obviously trying to contribute is the only way really that we can support right now. I'm so thankful for my sister for setting that up. And I don't know what I would do without the people who are contributing. I'm Steve Smith, ABC 10 News. Now the family was able to save a few things and at this point have not been given clearance to return to their home.